Alright, uh, welcome back. And I let it sit for a whole day just thinking because I knew I had to do some cleaning before I could get it moved back to where I want it, the shop. And uh, now that I got that moved, uh, well, most people in my shop I've got. The guy before me, this was a workout room for him, and so he's got a nice tile floor, and then over there is, there was a wall right about where the camera is, and the rest of it is just concrete, so I've got probably a, I don't know, maybe a half inch lip on the floor, and I guess when you lift a thousand plus pounds with a crane, and the wheels don't, I think they're five inch wheels, and they don't really feel like going over that lip very well, so. I ended up uh, getting it as close as I could, putting the weight down, putting one wheel up, picking it up, moving it a little bit, put it down, pick the next wheel up, and anyways, I made it kind of relatively to here, and I guess I'm at that point where I'm gonna start looking at how to uh, break the seal on this, this bad boy here, so. All right, how to get into it. It's like we've got these tabs that are nicely folded over, kind of like uh, little locks. Looks like a great tool for a uh, really old, oh, made in USA, true test screwdriver flathead that I must have picked up at a garage sale for who knows where. Probably one of the toolbox. just uh, sheet metal and uh, honestly I thought that it would have had a little bit more to it just not I'm not saying like uh, it's cheap but I figured that this had something to do with stiffening up the base maybe not But this helps stiffen up the base a little bit. I mean, still probably the same gauge sheet metal, and I was guessing that that's uh, 18 gauge. This is the bottom portion of the chip tray.
instructions and start putting this together. When you look at the uh, both online and in the Grizzlies big book, it's like comes with a toolbox. But there's no pictures of any toolboxes. You go to the shop floor, it's like, what's this toolbox? I don't know. So I was kind of thinking, it's like, oh, the toolbox is probably just what comes in the base. And then I'm like, well, that can't be it because the uh, toolbox. I mean, the base doesn't come with like the G4003 model, but it says it comes with a toolbox. So I'm like, oh, what's a toolbox? This is the toolbox it came with. Wonder what's in the toolbox that it came with. All right, all the change gears and the handles. And maybe the instructions. Full of Cosmoly. This is what David needed, right? More toolboxes. Let's uh, let's talk tolerances. <laughs> I 
and I guess stack up tolerances will come into effect here. Like, you got these holes drilled in this and attached to these little flanges that I put on. Well, those are currently, they're about an inch wide slots. So, it's kind of like, I would hope they could get these holes closer. And then there's, you also have to think stack ups. Like, alright, if they had that perfect, then they have to have these holes on top, which the lathe is going to bolt down to perfect. I just, I understand the greatness of the slotted hole, but an inch?